So a new dungeon boss exploit has been found, meaning you can farm two bosses on that master difficulty within the ghosts of the deep new dungeon without really breaking a sweat. I would recommend though that last boss as it's just better in my opinion, but whichever one you do is up to you. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so you may as well take advantage of this and that master difficulty while it's still in the game. Uh, get a boss checkpoint and save it on an alt character so you can farm this. So this needs to be done in a team of two or three players. It cannot be done solo at the moment and this is what's needed to be done. One person needs to use the wither horde and the other person or persons need to revive. Without starting the encounter, set yourselves up before rallying that flag. So to do this, make sure one person has that Wither Horde applied and any other special ammo weapon. I'll go with a fast firing shotgun or a fusion rifle. Also apply those reload mods to your gauntlets for that spare special ammo weapon. In your heavy slot, you want something that can kill you. Grenade launcher, rocket launcher, etc, etc. So rally the flag and start. Here, empty out your secondary special ammo weapon i.e. fusion rifle or shotgun, leaving only ammo in your wither horde. Then empty out your heavy weapon until you've got one shot left, which is what you need. Okay, so to start this, do not interact with the ghost. Completely ignore that ghost. Now the glitch works with the player who's using the wither horde, shooting and sticking that boss, then killing himself with that one heavy ammo. Now you'll notice as you'll see on screen, after killing yourself, that with Horde will start to do damage to that boss and slowly drain her shield and health. The damage though only applies to the boss once it's been stuck and said player firing that with a Horde dies. That's when you'll see those damage numbers. So as soon as you shoot that boss with that with a Horde, you need to be revived straight away. Once you are revived from here guys, keep shooting that boss with that with a Horde. As long as you don't miss her, you don't have to kill yourself again because the damage will continue to tick as long as you do not miss. Now in regards to special ammo, and obviously you're thinking, well, I'm gonna run out of special ammo. This is the trick you need to use. As I said at the start of the setup, you need to have no ammo in your second special ammo weapon, nor none in your heavy, as that one shot I told you to save, you'd have killed yourself with. So as you do this glitch, you should only have ammo in your wither horde. Now once you start getting low on that wither horde ammo, you will notice the game rewards you that special ammo, but for both special weapons. Now to keep this process active of you keep receiving that special ammo, allowing you to keep shooting the boss with that wither horde, between shots on the boss you need to switch weapons to that secondary special ammo weapon. So say shoot the boss, switch weapons, reload, switch back to your wither horde, shoot the boss again, then switch weapons and shoot that other special ammo weapon, emptying its clip, then switching back to your wither horde and continuing to shoot the boss as you see me doing on screen now. Once you get this down guys, it's pretty easy and you'll be forever rewarded that special ammo weapon. Now if you do miss and that tick damage stops, you will see it says that she is immune again. Here you have to start the process of hitting her with your wither horde, dying and getting rest and continue on sticking her for that tick damage to continue. Do not worry though guys, the damage you've done will not be reset. Or you could just leave and join back with full ammo, it really is up to you. Now weapons with that ricochet rounds will kill you if needs be. Now what I will say is other means of doing lingering damage work in the same way. Gathering storm, hunter super, certain nades and other things. But with a horde in my opinion is the best I've seen. Also you can check the boss's health and shield with the Darcy. The bottom one's shield and the top one's health. But guys take advantage of this while you can. As soon as Bungie clock onto this, it's going to be nerfed 100%. But if you want easy armor, easy master dungeon completions, and great, great loot, do this. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, it really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.